they say it's as easy as pushing the button and drawing a note. And it looks like that's actually true. You just double tap that little pen and you can take a note. What's going on guys? This is Russell Holly. We are going to take a look at the Surface Pro 3 just as soon as I get done scribbling on this screen. Some pretty nice artwork there. Microsoft surprised us today at their small Surface gathering with a Surface Pro 3, which is actually a 12-inch tablet that is also a laptop when you have the little keyboard attached to the bottom. As the name suggests, this is the third generation of the Surface Pro hardware. Uh, it comes in three different hardware configurations, which we will get into later. It looks like it has a micro SD card slot here, but not a full-size SD card slot. And... It really looks exactly like the previous surfaces, it's just bigger. Uh, it has a new pen that does not magnetically clip to the tablet. We're going to get into that later. Uh, what we do find is that the, the hinge is now a friction hinge. It doesn't just lock into a couple of places. And you've got that first little bit there where there's some give, where it won't prop up particularly well. Uh, but then you have a really impressive range here where you can bend and every time you get it to set in place with exception to the very end there's very little wobble but you'll see there at the end you get a little bit of wiggle uh, once you've reached the end of the friction hinge but the rest of it is surprisingly solid you can use it uh, in any of those angles and it holds up just well the touchpad is now nearly the full width of the spacebar which is significantly nicer and we're gonna boot it up from completely off right here and you will see that the Surface Pro 3, this is the Core i5 variant, uh, it boots up and is ready to go in almost exactly 10 seconds. It's a little shy of 10 seconds, which is very nice for a Windows 8.1 machine. It's just about exactly what you expect. The machine so far has been incredibly fast, but obviously we've only had it for a little while here, so we've yet to put it truly through its paces. Uh, you can see... This is, you know, Windows 8.1. There's not a whole lot else to say there if you've used Windows 8.1 before. The keyboard has a new special magnetic stand that gives it a little better feel when it's on your lap, but it's also a much better feel when it's on the desk. Uh, and it, it does usually require two hands to set up. It gives you just this little bit of extra incline for when you're typing, so you're not typing on a perfectly flat surface. Uh, but when you have it like that, there's very little give. You push on the keyboard and it doesn't bend or anything like that, which is a problem for previous Surface keyboards. Thanks for watching.